So you know when we are young, your parents will always tell you to study hard so that you don't end up collecting rubbish, right? Well, I did study hard, but when my parents ask me what do I do, I tell them, what's so lati he tao lati. Hi, I'm Jeffrey. I've been working at Tuas Marine Transit Station, or TMTS in short, since 201 day. So you may know that actually Singapore incineries are waste and that all the ash is actually transported to Singapore's only offshore landfill, Semakau Landfill. How do you think it gets there? There is actually no magic involved. It's done by my team here at TMTS. TMTS is actually the collection point whereby we check, consolidate and transfer the incineration ash and the non incinerable waste to Semakau Landfill. So we are like the checkpoint for the waste to Semakau Landfill, but minusing the passport. Like most other people, I also did not know about the existence of TMTS before joining NEA. But I'm always very curious about Singapore's waste management system and how can Semakau Landfill be so green? Actually, it turns out there's so much more science, logistics and technology than we can ever imagine. My role over here is to oversee the operations at TMTS, ensuring that all the equipment and facilities are in working order. So most importantly, we also ensure that the incineration ash and the non incinerable waste sent to Semaka Landfill meets the standard of landfilling. Every day, as many as 200 trucks carrying 2,000 tons of waste comes to TMTS. There are two main types of waste that come to us. The non incinerable waste such as sludge and the ash that comes from waste to energy plants. If there's waste that can be incinerated or should be recycled, but they are not, we actually ask the waste collector to bring it back and send it to the right facility for treatment. The trucks will then drive up to the discharge bay to offload their waste into the barges which operate every day. The Maka Landfill is actually not a black hole. At the rate which Singaporeans are producing waste, it actually gets filled up by 2035. So one of the challenges that we face is how we can extend the lifespan of Semakau Landfill. So that's why we are here, gatekeeping the waste at TMTS. If we can actually incinerate or recycle the waste here, we can actually reduce the volume of trash sent to Semakau Landfill. Additionally, we are also constantly exploring new uses for incineration bottom ash, such as turning it into new sand for non-structural construction. The more we reduce, reuse or recycle, we actually can preserve the lifespan of Semakau Landfill. Getting to experience this hidden side of waste management has been very fulfilling for me. I've come to appreciate my teammates on the ground who actually make our operations run like clockwork. TMTS may only be one step in this giant waste management chain, but I'm very happy that I can play a role in extending the lifespan of Semakau Landfill.